everyone, I'm Charlene and I am the Digital Marketing Specialist for Le Masi Fabrics and today I am going to be talking you through everything that I have been making recently and a few plans that I have coming up. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start straight in with what I'm wearing. So I'm fairly sure I had this in my last video, I'm not sure um, the plans for it. I'm not, I can't remember now. Um, but this is the Trend Patterns Ruffle Shirt, which is her latest, um, Lucy's latest release. I'll put a few full pictures in of me, um, the full length of it. So it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, it has these really gorgeous, big, deep cuffs. It's asymmetrical. So there's a big like ruffle that comes down at the bottom here and it's just, it feels amazing to wear. I absolutely love it. The fabric is our um, Serona linen blend. So it is Serona linen and cotton. Serona is made from corn and it's very new fiber um, in the market at the moment. And uh, there's not many places that are stocking it. And this is the mountain green color and I love it. I love the colour. It is just, I just oh, absolutely adore it. And the fabric was so nice to work with. I had got this to make a different trend patterns dress originally during the summer and never got around to it. And whenever I received this pattern, I thought, perfect. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy I used it. It's with the cotton in it. Um, it doesn't really feel like linen. There's not a lot of linen in it, but it's still... Um, it doesn't feel like it but i think it has the look of linen like that sort of a uh, wave and there's like a really nice sheen off it um i'm not sure i'm guessing that's maybe coming from the serona i'm not too sure but yeah it was just so nice to work with behaved so well just absolutely perfect and we have loads of colors in it now i want them all <laughs> so and um, there's a really nice rust and like a khaki green as well so i might end up with a few more um but yeah really really happy with how this one has turned out the other thing that i've made and i've been sharing quite a lot over my instagram is the trend patterns bomber jacket in our um oh cozy quilted fabric so this is what i have left of it um Again, I'm so happy with how that bomber jacket turned out. It's actually one of those things that I've been wanting to make for quite a while now, um, just like a classic bomber jacket. And they're really in this year. Um, we talked about them in the Autumn Trends blog. And I just, as soon as I seen this fabric, I knew exactly what I was gonna make straight away. And yeah, I had the Trend Patterns bomber jacket pattern already. So the big change that I made with this was that I, the pattern comes with the lining but because this is the same on both sides and it is it's quilted so it's quite warm as it is um i didn't want to add a lining because it just didn't need it and i ended up bias binding most the majority of the seams the only place i didn't bias bind it is where the um ribbing was attached around the collar and the cuffs and the hemband just because that still needed to stretch a wee bit but I'm really, really happy with it because it, I get so many compliments on the jacket and I've worn it so much. It's not, it's not too heavy. It feels like just the perfect weight for an extra layer during the autumn and winter. And then it'll be lovely coming into like spring, summer too as a lighter weight jacket. But when people compliment it and I can show them the insides and all the binding and it just looks so good. I used the Paisley Dream X Designer Cotton Steam which I had made a dress in over the summer and I had some of it left and it worked perfectly with it. The colour is so nice with, with this green. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it so much. Um, then the other thing that I've made is a just a t-shirt and the pattern hasn't been released yet and it's the, I made it in the Mind the Maker organic cotton jersey in bottle green and absolutely love it again the it's a really really soft cotton jersey it's not but it still has the structure so it kind of feels like a nearly like a viscose it has that real real soft feel but with the structure of a cotton jersey and it's just perfect again i've worn it so many times since i made it too so that i've actually ordered the sienna color 
in that now <laughs> um because it just i just absolutely adore it and the other thing then that i've been working on is the this one was in my last video the closet core mixed dress so this is in so the buttons here down the front i have the top and the first tier in i need to put elastic in the waist and the sleeves and then i actually do have that's right the two the bottom tiers attached so all i have to do upside down and um, all i have to do now is just attach this tier to the top tier the middle under the top and then add the elastic and hem it so i'm actually quite close to finishing it i've been dipping in and out of it when i can and um, i actually started this at i host a sewing day once a month so i started this at the start of the month first saturday of the month and i'm very slowly getting there i had the flu for like a week just before the um workshops that i was teaching over in lamazi so um yeah i managed to recover enough before i um went over but yeah so that's just sort of held me back a wee bit um yeah which is why i haven't got probably as far with this and then i've just been busy but it's maybe why i haven't got as far with this as i thought i would have but yeah i'm quite happy with how it's turning out i have sized down i'd seen a few people since have said that the shoulders come up very wide and it's just not a great i think if you go with your measurements it it is very oversized Um, i think i went down two sizes from what my measurements put me at because i do have my top is quite narrow and compared to what my measurements put me in so i do usually have to size down to get something to fit right especially when it's that looser shape and yeah the fit is really really good i will put all the details when i've actually got it finished but i did find find the button stand a wee bit tricky where the button loops were going to go and the binding was a wee bit thick but I'll put all those details on a post whenever I've got it finished. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this fabric. So this is the Autumn Floral Rayon Viscose. Um, I think it's Autumn Floral. Um, vintage Autumn Floral is what it's called. I should know because I named it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it feels so, so nice. Um, I think it's only 11 or 12 pound a meter and it just the quality feels amazing it hasn't as far as I know from sewing it it hasn't pulled Um, obviously that is always a problem that you can get come whenever it's printed on a white background but there's been no issues with it pulling it's pressed really well it's the same as the one that I've used to make my self-drafted shirt the same viscose and it just it's just so lovely and it feels really really silky smooth it's just it's i can't wait to have this finished because it's going to be so nice to wear um yeah i'm really really excited about this one so i'm at that stage now where i just want to get it done um and had to send myself to bed last night or i would have sat up until a silly hour probably finishing it um so yeah i would say i will have that one finished this weekend without a doubt um and yeah so that's what i have been making um as i say quite slowly this month because i've been busy with alterations and just work in general and um, lots of different things going on and then the trip over to lamazi to do the charger block and bodice block workshops which went so well they were brilliant um so yeah busy month but so yeah i have a few plans so these are fabrics that i got when i was over and the Mazzy still haven't even been pre-washed because the weather's been horrible and I know I'm not going to get around to making them anytime soon and um, so I have this was a remnant of the Atelier Brunette or Atelier Jupe Autumn Flowers or Blue Autumn I can't remember now and um, it has sold out now unfortunately but we do have a few other um Atelier Jupe prints still in stock and it just it's so lovely i had been sharing the remnants on instagram and when i seen this one it just really stood out i think so it has all the autumn colors in it the greens and the rusts and the orange and the brown but i love this pop of blue and i do blue is a color that i do i like and i think it's the same with this print here 
I love obviously the oranges and the greens but this like brighter teal blue it's a shade that I really do want to wear so I'm sort of trying to like break myself in gently with wee bits of it in a print to see how I get on and again the same with this royal blue colour I do really love it but I don't always like wearing it so yeah I thought I'd give this a go I have 1.5 meters one and a half meters and I will probably make a nephiline blouse um, by Vivian Sao Chen. I have a couple of viscoses that are um, of 1.5 meters and they're all going to be blouses so I need to take them all out and decide which pattern is going to be which so that I can get them done because yeah I just love it. I absolutely love these brown shades in it and the oranges so yeah very excited about this one. Um, then this is the yarn dyed knitted stripes so it is yep that's way behind and um, it's like a sort of natural color with this silvery gray stripe running through it in two different thicknesses so there's a thinner one and a thicker one the when i was over in october in Lamazi, i think i touched this fabric about 30 times every time i walked past it i was feeling it and i loved it but i didn't get it so i knew whenever i was over this time i was definitely going to get it because i think as like a simple either I might go for like a jumper style or else just a t-shirt um, and then maybe make like a wee t-shirt for Emily as well my daughter but I think coming up to Christmas now it's going to be really nice just something with a wee touch of sparkle but can still be wore all year round um, and it's really 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 soft it is feels it is like a jersey weight but it does feel more like a knitted fabric um, and yeah so like a lightweight knit and yeah I just love it I think it's really really nice and not too out there in terms of sparkle because I wouldn't go well I wouldn't always go for the top of sparkle but it's nice just to have that wee touch of it I think um now coming up to the festive season and then and we do have that still in stock then this last one is a medal sorry this is a medal ribbed sweater knit and I just love it so it feels very like cool but thick and cozy as well at the same time so it's going to be lovely and breathable um, <clears throat> and it has this thick rib on it um, in the khaki colour very stretchy and um, quite a lot of stretch more stretch obviously going across again with the rib and I was putting together inspiration it's same with this I was putting together inspiration images and I seen a v-neck sweater and I thought that would be lovely and with this one so I'll pop the image in it is I'm going to use the fiber mood data sweater which is the one with the wee like half zip and the big collar but I'm going to leave out the cuffs on it and just finish it with a normal hem and I might shape the hem at the bottom so just normal sleeves and might make them a wee bit longer and shape the hem a wee bit maybe or do like a split hem or something but I'm going to use that top zip part and the bodice and then just sort of lengthen it and play about with that because yeah I seen an image and I just really really liked it and I think it'll be I do love the ribbed ones that I've made with the ribbon at the bottom that sort of brings it in at the waist but I think one in without the ribbing that's a wee bit longer I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that and especially in this colour and um, so yeah very excited about that I'm really excited about making all of these and I'm trying to get other things sort of cleared up first before I can start on them but so yeah can't wait to get started on this and um, I think it's gonna be lovely so yeah I have this one planned and then I still have my orange my burnt orange fleece that I want to make one in Again, I think I've changed my mind on what I'm doing with it. I'm going to still do the data, but I fancy a drawstring at the bottom instead of the ribbon. So I'm going to have to get orange, like thin elastic and the wee toggles. So I need to look for that um, so I can get it made. But I fancy that sort of drawstring at the side um, to gather it in and shape it as opposed to the ribbing at the bottom. Um, so yeah that's my plans for it but I need to find the extra bits of haberdashery now that I need and I need to get zips for both before I can make a start but yeah this fabric it just feels it has a lovely weight to it and it's going to be so cosy and nice 
I think perfect for the style that I have in mind. Um, so yeah, that's my plans. I do have another delivery on the way. I completely fell for some of the new Atelier Burnett fabrics. The just the colours and the prints were just me all over. So I've some of that coming and a few other bits. So um yeah, there'd be I'll never have enough time to make all this before Christmas, but I'll try my best. Um, and yeah, the other thing, I want, well, two more things I want to mention. So our next workshops are now live over on the website for February. And they would make a perfect Christmas gift if you want to drop some hints to someone, if you want to try some pattern drafting and yeah, get a really great fit on a fitted bodice or some trousers. And then I, yeah, so I'll pop the link for them below and it's Black Friday. So we've had a sale on now um, this week and it's going to last all weekend and you can get 15% off basically everything. So all fabric, um, sewing patterns and haberdashery on the website with the code BF15. So yeah, that'll be running all weekend. Um, I know it's can be quite overwhelming with Black Friday. There's so many offers and different things, but um, you can also get 15% off all our sale and remnants. So a lot of it is going to be really, really reduced and there's loads of new stuff added to it. So yeah, go over and have a wee nosy and pick yourself up a bargain. Um, and yeah, that's really it. I hope everyone is keeping well. And yeah, if you're making any Christmas presents, it's all going well. Or yeah, you're getting plenty of time to sew. Um, and yeah. It's, hopefully it hasn't been raining too much where you are and um, we've had a lot of rain here this week and I think everywhere has so yeah um I hope you're all keeping well and I will chat to you all soon bye <music>